Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So let me ask you one simple question. So do you know that you can use AWS identity and access management to manage and scale your workloads or your, let's say your workforce to access your AWS resources, AWS services in a very secure manner. And let me tell you one thing, pretty much every application, no matter what you're developing on AWS, and not only AWS, it's actually Microsoft Azure also, it's actually Google Cloud as well. Similar concept exists in all of the clouds provider. So IAM is one concept that you must learn, that you must understand, no matter what certification you are striving for. So what are we waiting for? Let's start the episode and here's the question number one for today. So let's begin the part 37 with question number 261. The question is saying, what is an AWS identity and access management role? And your options are option A, user associated with an AWS resource, option B, a group associated with an AWS resource, and option C, an entity that defines a set of permissions for the use with an AWS resource, and lastly option D, an authentication credentials associated with the multi-factor authentication MFA token. And friends, before answering this question, I really request you to watch the episode number 35 because in that episode, I really explained in quite a detail what exactly is IAM, what are the use cases for the same, what are the benefits, how does the IAM work. So everything is explained in the part number 35. And trust me, after watching that video, these kind of questions will be a piece of cake for you. For now, let me tell you the correct answer. The correct answer is option C, an entity that defines a set of permissions for the use with an AWS resource. And the concept I explained in the part number 35 can also be accompanied with this documentation here. This is an IAM identity. So you will also be able to understand what are the users, what are the groups and what are the roles. So here you can read about all about the IAM AWS account user and this is followed by IAM user. So here you can read all about the IAM user. You can also go to the IAM group user, IAM roles. So everything is given. It will really help you understand the core concept of IAM. Moving on with the question number 262, it says which AWS IAM feature allows developers to access AWS service through the AWS CLI? Options given are option A, API keys, option B, access keys, option C, usernames and passwords, and lastly, option D, SSH keys. And the correct answer for the same is option B, access keys. This concept also I explained in the previous episodes. So please watch the episode number 36 and you will get all the understanding and the relevant documentation around the access keys. Moving on with the question number 263 that says a developer is writing a program that must switch between multiple IAM roles. So which AWS service or feature can the program use to meet this requirement? And you have to choose two correct options. The options given are option A, AWS CLI, option B, AWS Security Token Service API, and then we have option C, IAM Inline Policies, Option D, AWS Organizations, and lastly, Option E, AWS Trusted Advisor. So let's look at the first correct option, and that is Option A, AWS CLI. And then the second correct option is Option B, AWS Security Token Service API. Okay, just to give you more understanding on AWS CLI. So this basically is a command line interface and that is why it's called CLI. And it's a tool that can be used to interact with AWS services and the resources using the command line. And then coming to the AWS security token service, this service, my friends, this is a AWS security related service. And this API can be used to request temporary security credentials for the IAM roles. And we have taken multiple questions on both AWS CLI and AWS security token service in the previous episodes. But for now, let's move on to the next question. Question number 264 that says which of the following can limit the Amazon storage service, also known as Amazon S3, bucket access to specific user? Your options are option A, a public and a private key pair, option B, Amazon inspector, Option C, AWS identity and access management policies and option D, security groups. And I'm really sure my friends, in case you have been watching us from the previous episodes, you must be able to answer this question. And the correct answer for this question is option C, AWS identity and access management policies. And now let's move on to the next question, question number 265 that says, which of the following is a customer duty under the AWS shared responsibility model? And we have taken numerous questions on AWS shared responsibility model because this is a core concept 
and trust me you will surely get some questions around this shared responsibility model so now let's look out what are the options given here option a installing security patches for the xcn and kvm hypervisors and then we have option b installing operating system patches for the amazon dynamo db option c installing operating system security patches for amazon ec2 database instances and then we have option d installing operating security system patches for amazon rds database instances so could you guess the correct answer pause the video and let me know in the comment section for now correct answer is option c installing operating system security patches for amazon ec2 database instances and just to clarify option b which talks about amazon dynamo db and option d which talks about amazon rds well these are not correct because amazon dynamo db and rds are managed databases which means automated provisioning os patching done by the aws but here we are talking about the customer duty so that actually means implicitly that the customer is doing this it is not happening automatically or not happening as a managed service so that's why option c is the correct answer so i hope you really like the questions for today and in case you're looking for the pdf files with all the questions all the answers for all our exam q a series then you can check out the community membership or this join button and that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching